And now for our dinosaur of the day, Ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurus name means horned lizard, and it lived in the late Jurassic. Fossils have been found in North America and Portugal and Tanzania. Charles Marsh described the type species in 1884, and Charles Gilmore re-described the species in 1920. The type species is Ceratosaurus nasicornis, but other species include Ceratosaurus magnicornis, which was named in 2000, and Ceratosaurus dentisculcatus, which was also named in 2000. Ceratosaurus magnicornis has a rounder horn, though it is very similar to Ceratosaurus nasicornis. But Ceratosaurus dentisulcatus is larger, more than 7 meters, with an unknown horn shape. And this type may have been even twice as big as Ceratosaurus nasicornis. The fossils found in Portugal have been attributed to Ceratosaurus dentisulcatus. Paleontologists have debated over the validity of these species, saying that the differences may just be individuals or differences that come with age. But the type specimen of Ceratosaurus was 18 feet or 5.5 meters long, though it may not have been fully grown. Its maximum length may have been 20 feet or 6.1 meters long, based on a specimen found in the mid-1960s, and this is based on proportions of the holotype. The type specimen had two left metatarsals fused together, which may mean that it had a healed fracture. And Ceratosaurus weighed about a half to one ton or 500 kilograms to one ton. Though, some sources have said that it may have weighed up to two tons, so lots of debate. But Ceratosaurus was very bird-like. It had large jaws, blade-like teeth, a blade-like horn on its snout, and hornlets over its eyes, which is similar to Allosaurus. But one unique feature is that it had a row of osteoderms on the middle of its back. And it's unclear why it had these osteoderms on its back. This could have been defense against larger predators or even against rivals within the species. Ceratosaurus had short, powerful forelimbs, and these arms had four-fingered hands and sharp claws. It had a large skull in proportion to its body, and it was bipedal, and it had an S-shaped neck with a large tail, and it was heavy-boned. It had good eyesight, and it had a nasal horn, which is an extension of the nasal bones on its snout. This is a fusion of two growths from separate bones. In juveniles, you can see beginnings of the horn from two bones that are not fused, so this fusion may have indicated reproductive maturity. Charles Marsh thought that Ceratosaurus's nasal horn was a powerful weapon, and so did Charles Gilmore. But nowadays, scientists think that the horn was used for combat among male Ceratosaurs, instead of as an offensive and defensive weapon against other species, and that this combat was for breeding rights, though other scientists think that it was used just for display and may have been brightly colored. Ceratosaurus lived alongside Allosaurus, Torvosaurus, Apatosaurus, Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, and Camarasaurus, it was smaller than Allosaurus and Torvosaurus, and it probably ate some different foods from them, so it was filling a different niche. It actually may have been more of a swimmer than the other two carnivores. It had a longer, flexible body with a tail shaped like a crocodile's, so that means it was probably a better swimmer than at least Allosaurus. Marsh theorized that Ceratosaurus was a good swimmer based on its long, thin tail. Robert Bakker suggested that Ceratosaurus went after aquatic prey, like fish and crocodiles, though they may have also eaten large dinosaurs as a scavenger. He found in his study that adults and juveniles sometimes ate together, which is interesting. So Ceratosaurus may have hunted in groups, and if they did hunt, they may have competed with Allosaurus for Stegosaurs or Sauropods or Iguanodonts, but again, they might also have been more of an aquatic eater. They had long teeth. When their mouth was closed, the teeth could extend below the lower jaw and they had a jaw that could slice instead of crush bone, which is another indication that it filled a different niche from other carnivores in the area. Ceratosaurus fossils are less common than Allosaurus, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a more rare dinosaur. But, to give an example, in one quarry where there were bones belonging to at least 44 individuals, there was only one Ceratosaurus individual. Ceratosaurus has been in a few films, for example, D.W. Griffith's Brute Force from 1914, which was the first live-action film featuring dinosaurs, also the Rite of Spring segment in Fantasia in 1940, The Animal World in 1956, where a Ceratosaurus fights and kills a Stegosaurus, but then another Ceratosaurus attacks to steal the meal and both end up falling off a cliff. It was also in the remake One Million Years B.C., where a Ceratosaurus fights a Triceratops, and it's also seen in The Land That Time Forgot in 1975, as well as the sequel, The People That Time Forgot in 1977. And it's also in Jurassic Park 3. 
and the TV documentary When Dinosaurs Roamed America, as well as episodes of Jurassic Fight Club, and portrayed as a rival to Allosaurus. You can see Ceratosaurus at the Natural History Museum of Utah, the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry, and Dinosaur National Monument. Ceratosaurus is related to Ablosaurus, such as Carnotosaurus, and previously Ceratosaurus and Ablosaurus, as well as primitive Coelophysoids, were grouped together as Ceratosauria, which were theropods closer to Ceratosaurus than to Aves, but more recent evidence shows large distinctions between later Ceratosaurs and earlier forms. Ceratosaurus is the type genus of the family Ceratosauridae, and Ceratosaurids live in the Jurassic and Cretaceous. Charles Marsh named the family Ceratosauridae in 1884. Ceratosaurus competed with other larger predators, and there are two types of Ceratosaur teeth, one with longitudinal ridges and one with smooth enamel.